All right, today's viewer question is this. Someone asks, what are the two biggest mistakes that I can avoid when it comes to the gym? All right, the two biggest mistakes that you can avoid is this. Mistake number one, not going to the gym altogether. I think a lot of times people have um, different reasons why they don't make it to the gym. It may be time, it may be not knowing what they're doing, it may be just feeling uncomfortable, or maybe they don't like exercise and they're avoiding it. And I think the biggest thing you could do is just get in there because once you can get in there, you can actually you know, start getting better and make those attempts towards um, moving towards those goals and then seeing great progress. You gotta be in it to win it. So I think that's the biggest mistake that people make is just completely avoiding it altogether. And then the second biggest mistake is this, not learning from a professional or someone that knows what they're doing when it comes to exercise. So many times I see people, they go to a gym and they're excited at first and they start exercising and they're doing the wrong things. And because they're doing the wrong things, they're hurting themselves. And I always recommend get the advice and the coaching and the tutelage of a professional or someone that knows what they're doing. So that way they can eliminate the frustration that comes along with trying to pick up something new. And then also too, so that way you can have safe and effective workouts. So that way, if you keep it safe, it'll allow you to be able to do it longer and you'll find some type of joy and excitement out of doing it, And but you're gonna love the results, okay? So those are the two biggest mistakes that I will avoid, all right? Take care, God bless, and remember you can be fit, or you can be fit to max, spiritually, mentally, and physically strong. All right, here's another viewer question. I'm not a morning person, but if I put off not working out until the end of the day, I won't do it. How can I get my workout in? All right, so I know for you night hours, people who are not into waking up in the morning, um, here's what I would recommend. First things first, if you wanna, you gotta make up your mind and make up your mind that exercise and fitness is gonna be a big part of your life and that's gonna really add on towards what you're doing. So once you can kind of grasp that concept and you really know that this is what you're gonna do and this is how you're gonna go about doing it, then the other things will fall into place. So then here's the tactical things I would do after that. Make sure that you're going to bed at an earlier time, preferably an hour earlier than you usually do. If you can go to bed a little earlier, then that's even better, okay? But at least an hour earlier, and that should help, and that's gonna give you recovery and energy right out the gate anyway, okay? Next thing you wanna do, you always wanna make sure that you set your alarm clock, preferably before you go to sleep, all right? So maybe I should have said set your alarm clock first and then go to bed early, so let's do that. We're gonna set our alarm clocks, we're gonna make sure we go to bed an hour early, and that's gonna allow you to be able to wake up early enough to be able to get exercise and have the energy to do it, okay? Those first couple of days is gonna be a little rough, I'm not gonna to lie to you, but if you can make it past those first two weeks and start developing that routine and developing that habit, then it'll stick with you. You'll get your exercises in. And I'll be honest with you, the people who are most consistent with their workout efforts are the ones who wake up early in the morning to do it. Because in the morning, you just don't have those fires to put out. Johnny is sleeping. You don't have to worry about him getting in trouble in school. Um, usually people have to stay late at work. They don't usually have to go into work early. So it just allows you to be able to have more consistency with your workout, which is what we really need to get the best results anyway, okay? So I hope that helps, all right? Take care, God bless. And remember, you can be fit or you can be fit to the max, spiritually, mentally, and physically strong. Okay, someone asked this question. The question is this, what are the best foods to eat before working out? Okay, this is, it's hard to answer this one because different things work for different people. I was first start off with saying that you're gonna have to experiment with a couple of different things. Experiment with um, the amount of food that you have. Experiment with the distance between the time that you eat and the time that you exercise in terms of the timing factor. And um, yeah, just play around with the different choices. I give you this examples of different things that you can have before a workout. Um, some people, they do very well with oatmeal. Some people do well with apples. Some people do good with bananas. And some people do good with peanut butter. Uh, my personal favorite, I like to do yogurt uh, before a workout. And I would do that about 30 minutes before a workout. Some people, you need it a little bit further away, maybe an hour away, an hour and a half away. Some folks, they need to have something right before they work out, maybe a protein bar 15 minutes or 10 minutes before they actually get in and get their first lift in or their first run in. So what I recommend is this, play around with it. But the general rule of thumb, I would start off with 
one of those suggestions, either oatmeal, banana, apple, peanut butter, or yogurt, or even a protein bar. Do that about 30 minutes out and see how your body responds. And, you, and if you keep on trying out different things in about 10 days or so, 10 workouts or so, you'll be able to find out what works best for you, okay? So just give it a try. Don't be afraid to experiment. Start off with that reference point that I gave you, and you'll be able to figure out the things that you can have before a workout to fuel you, to give you energy, to be able to get through the workouts in top form and top fashion, all right? So take care. God bless. And remember, you can be fit or you can be fit to the max spiritually, mentally, and physically strong. All right, so this question is one that I get over and over again, so I figured that I should answer this for you, okay? So the question is this, I work out and eat healthily, but my weight just plateaus. Why? Okay, so a lot of people are having that plateau effect right now where, you know, they're exercising, they're eating healthily, but they're not really making the progress that they should make, and they're kind of stuck. And the reason why they're stuck is this, is because they're doing the same things over and over again. Our bodies are phenomenal in that they have this wonderful ability to adapt to whatever we, we introduce it to. So if you had a workout program that worked initially and got you to lose the weight and now you're stuck, well, perhaps it may be time for you to switch the game up and start doing some different exercises to be able to allow your body to adapt to that and then to make some changes. And then also to start looking at your nutrition. Whenever I have someone that may be at a sticking point or at a standstill and they come to me, I'll sit down with them and actually walk through their nutrition program, okay? And the fact of the matter is this, a lot of times we don't eat as good as we remember, you know? But when you have that, you know, that app, you know, there's all kinds of different nutrition count apps. You could look them up and find one. I like MyFitnessPal, but you can use whichever one you want. And you go through what you ate. You ate what you ate for breakfast, what you ate for lunch, what you have in terms of a snack. And you start looking through it and you'll be able to start finding some trends and you'll be able to kind of tweak some things and make some adjustments. And if you can switch up that workout program and also make some adjustments from a nutrition standpoint, that's going to get you at that plateau effect and you'll start seeing results again. Okay, so you got to switch it up. You know, for example, if you're exercising and you're doing three sets of 10 reps, won't you try four sets of eight reps or try three sets of, of um, 15 reps, but just switch it up. Anything to shock the body so that it doesn't get acclimated and adjusted to what you're doing, because if it adapts, then it, you're almost sending a signal that it doesn't need to change. So switch it up, switch up that workout program and start letting the results flow. All right. So take care. God bless. And remember, you can fit or you can fit to the max spiritually, mentally, and physically strong. All right, here's another question from a viewer. They ask, I have osteoporosis. What can I do? Okay, um, if you have osteoporosis, and everybody knows that's a de degenerative tongue twister, de degenerative disease that attacks the bones, okay? So if you have osteoporosis, the best way to combat that is to start exercising. Because if you think about what osteoporosis does on the cellular level, what it does is this. It actually breaks down those bones because you're starting to have less cells, osteocells, that are generating to be able to uh, have those firm formations of the bones. So it's key that you start exercising so you start regenerating those osteocells so that the bones become denser and thicker and stronger. So you have to do that with weight-bearing exercises, okay? So start off with some weight-bearing exercises. Squats are a good one. Deadlifts are a good one. You know, doing push-ups, chest presses, shoulder presses are a really good one. Anything that requires compound movements where more than one joints are being activated because now you're getting the bigger muscle groups and as you're getting those bigger muscle groups like the legs, the shoulders, and the back, then that's going to really play a big role in being able to regenerate those osteocells and preventing osteoporosis, especially like the squats and the deadlifts, lunges, leg, leg workouts because it's going to help particularly in the hip region, okay, in the pelvic, pelvic region as well. So that's something you should do. Also, maybe speak to your doctor. Your doctor may be able to refer um, some type of um, medication that may help along with the exercise. And I know for people who I've worked with before who had osteoporosis, they're able to increase their dairy amount 
And that coupled with those weight bearing exercises really helped them deal with the osteoporosis and even reverse it in many cases, okay? So that's what I would do if I were you, okay? So I hope that helps. Take care. God bless. And remember, you can be fit, or you can be fit to the max, spiritually, mentally, and physically strong.